Hi guys, I'm just recording a brief uh, tutorial, so my voice is a bit low, it's, it's kind of late here and I don't want to be disturbing my kids who have gone to bed. But there's a lot of questions about um, sea stars and connecting in remotely. Um, lots of talk on using VM, VLC, you know, and it is possible. Um, you can use the uh, GT um, address stream like so um, the uh, the ZWO website says simply to click play at that point but there it is RTSP that is I just wanted to remind myself that you can get the the, the um, address looks similar to this from the device so that will be your internal IP address with whatever port backslash stream and provided you're using the um, sea stars just to reach the sun or the moon or I don't think it works for the planets you can use this method to stream um, it's not going to work now because it's not connected um, I haven't got the sea stars set up at the minute but really I mean, this is going to ever out um, but that's a problem for a lot of people um, especially if you're trying to remote into the sea stars from inside See, there you go, and that's, that's about what you're going to get from that. That's going to fail anyway, because I haven't got C stars set up. But again, even if it was set up, if you're doing deep sky stacking, um, this won't work. But there is a workaround, which um, I'm going to show you now. And this is it here, Samsung Flow. If you download that um, off of Windows, just have a Google and download it. You, you can download and install Samsung Flow. Um, I've connected via the Wi-Fi, so make sure your C stars and your tablet device, uh, and indeed your laptop, are on the same Wi-Fi um, ID, and otherwise it won't work. And also, you need to make sure you've got the flow on your tablet device as well. You need to install that on there. Obviously, uh, you do that through the uh, Play Store. So. Samsung Flow, there it is. If you want to install that, you can see it's got open on here because I've already got it open. The other thing you're going to want to do is when you pull it down, uh, link to Windows um, on here. You want to make sure that's enabled. And once you've done it, I mean, I've already done this successfully, so I've already a lot of the config's been done. So I kind of have that now running and it's connected to my computer. You'll obviously have to set up the device. Uh, it should be easy to off and try again to install it to show you, but I'll, I'm here now with it. And then all you do is go to Smart View, the top, once you've got them two connected, and then you literally have it where you now have device talking to me at the moment it's not showing an awful lot but if I flick that off suddenly you've got the window and I can flick across here real time and I'm just trying to find the sea stars up at the minute which oh, oh, I've kind of got it open here uh, but no, there it is there's the sea stars app and you can see here um, I can remote into it as you see here so now um, it doesn't matter whether I've even got it connected or doing a stack I can still remote in and I can still do my stuff um, as you can see here um, of course it's not connected I haven't got it on the only thing I will say is when you are doing it these are some of the images. If you are going to post any of these live, be aware that your latitude and longitude is at the bottom of the picture. So see if you can prop that out before posting it. Thank you to Sonia Turkington for pointing it out to me earlier on this evening, earlier on today. But you need to be careful with privacy is obviously uh, a big thing. So if you want to crop that out, then yeah. Another thing I'll show you here as well, which is kind of useful. So this is a shot of the full moon I think I took last night. If you come down to the arrow there, you can actually 
um, email it to yourself. So that's one way to get images off. So rather than using the USB C cable to plug into your computer, you can reach the images that way. So if you just want to quickly ping something off, you can. That's, you know that that's quite nice. Uh, so these are some images I've taken. Uh, these shouldn't require any introduction to anyone. Uh, just M42 here, and these do come out quite well, I think. Uh, Jupiter, the Sun. So again, you know, if if I want that, I just have to click on the share, export it, and you know, you've got a choice of emailing it. However, print it, and you know, you can obviously flip across this. You know, as you will, uh, whichever way. I prefer to email it, and at least that way you've got it. Um, but overall, I just wanted to show you that, you know, that you can control it remotely. You, know, you don't need the RTSP necessarily uh, to, to control via um, VLC. I mean, to be honest with you, with VLC, it's good. Um, you can see the, the image screened on, you know, streamed on your screen. But you can't control it, you know, you have to go back to the iPad for that. And it's very limited using RTSP as well. Um, it's no good if you're stacking. So, so if you're wanting to, to, to go in and, um, you know, you, you're stacking the Orion Nebula, for example, you can't RTSP. It's only if you're in the solar mode or the lunar mode, can you then share it? Um, so a few limitations there, but at the end of the day, there are workarounds. So I wanted to show you that. And um, I probably will post a couple of other tutorials up here, some which I think have been covered quite nicely already, but others which I've found and, and, and uh, don't seem to be well documented elsewhere. So I'm going to, you know, um, update that um, as when I come across them. So I hope that's been informative for you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.